one it's Shea Bear 1000 here and we also have again Monkey 1000 Monkey what we're we doing today monkey well now you're going to work on the blood pressure cuff that our one of the people brought back that we were selling okay so. all right yeah just reading an error code three um, I got some batteries here We've got our screwdrivers I've never had one of these apart so I mean it doesn't work no you can't take it back so he's called them yeah so <laughs> so it doesn't work so if we break it more we can't break it more so it doesn't matter we're just going to take it apart and see what's going on with it if we fix it fine it won't will not be for sale you know because it's something you don't want screwing up on you but let's see what we can do with it Okay, so anyway, like we was saying, the guy brought it back, said it was reading error code. I did put batteries in it and try it, and sure enough, it is reading an error code 3. And it's got troubleshooting in it. Um, but what the error code 3 is on these is it's what it's doing, it's not reading pressure. So that could be something wrong with this, but when I blow through it, pumping up and it's holding until I let go the but what I have noticed though is this thing it'll come on like it's supposed to and you can hear it click to start the motor the pump running but the pump does not run so that's why I don't think it's in this mm -hmm. Pretty much just checked it by blowing in it and it's holding pressure. So we're going to put this in there. We're going to kick it on. Have the batteries in there, right? There it is. See, nothing's happened. Mm -mm. There's no motor running. I'll show you what it does. Just take a second here. <clears throat> See, error three. So that's telling me it's not, it is not reading pressure. And of course, it's not going to if the, uh, what I could do is try to blow it up with my mouth and stick it on there real quick. But I don't, I don't hear the motor running. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do is, now there should be, okay, right in here, it feels like there's a little hole there. There could be a screw in there, but I'm pretty sure underneath these feet is usually where they put screws. Like I said, if we break it, it's no big deal. I've got a vacuum line <laughs> for something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, there's two little Phillips screws down in there. And it feels like there may be one right in the center there. I don't know. I'm not sure what these holes are for. Usually, uh, sometimes they've got a reset button, but uh, I don't think that's what those are. Those are for. And we're on the kitchen table because my bench is a mess. It's a wreck. So, get our little feet back up there. Okay, so I'm just going to, this is going to avoid the warranty, but I can't tell. It kind of feels like there's a screw in there, but can't see. Hmm. Might be. I, I don't want to back this out. Not sure. Uh, let's get a little straight screwdriver down in there. Let's 
and I'm not sure what that's for. Doesn't look like a screw. There's no screw in there. Bruno. Alright, so we got two screws out. Like this. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. Um, like I said, I've never had one of these apart, so I don't know, let's just, I do see some clips here. Oh, I just broke it. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Hmm. There's another screw right there. Should be some interesting parts inside of here. There's the power button. Okay, so let's get into the motor. Looks like there's two screws holding this on. Let me get checking out the cover. Like I said, this will never be for sale. We just one of those things to where. Yeah, it's already broke. Let's see what's inside it, right? Mm-hmm. And there's the little motor down in there. Right there's the motor. So, see it, Monk? Mm-hmm. That's the motor. Okay, so now this. There's a couple little vacuum t or tubes here. There's one. These are soldered on, so I don't want to break that. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and take the switch panel out. <clears throat> Tell us the story, monkey. I don't know. I don't have one. It's pretty cool. What is that? That's the thing we heard click. Oh. Okay, so this, I don't know. I got the screws out. I can't see what's. It pops out. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's stick some batteries in here. Because I heard that click, but I'm not hearing that motor run, so there could be an issue with that motor. Put the batteries in and find out, huh? Mm-hmm. Like I said, guys, these are not how-to videos, so don't go home and rip your grandmother's thing apart and <laughs> try to fix it. No, I think she'd be upset. She needs her blood pressure cuff. Nothing. Hmm. I'm trying to hear that relay click because I heard it click before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, something clicked. I'm just guessing it was that. Huh. Yeah, see, I don't hear anything clicking. Mm -mm. That cap looks good. All right. Yeah, see. Green air. See, before it was clicking, now it's not even clicking. Okay, so let's 
get this motor out of here. I was hoping the, the motor itself would be good. And it's just something electronical, you know, in the board or something that's not causing it, that's causing it not to work right. Mm -hmm. And I could build something out of that little motor. See, I think what this does, this motor is supposed to turn, mm -hmm. blows up. Uh, it also puts this should be a relay that kicks something on and off. Mm -hmm. So, like when it builds up pressure, it kicks it off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, yep. You have no clue, do you? No. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, yep. though. Okay. That's on there pretty tight. I want to see if I can get this motor working. Well, could this be bad? Like something wrong with this? I heard it clicking earlier, so no, I don't think so. I, I'm not sure anything about these. I mean, it, it could have gotten moisture in it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it could have. It's not even clicking now, but I heard that click earlier. Right there. Huh. Let me zoom in on that. Whoops. Did it burn up? Well, there's a... Uh, that shouldn't be ripped like that. Huh. That's a manufacturer defect. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> okay, go on. So, this thing is screwed up. That's mm. what it is. So, let's try, there's a plus and minus right here, which goes to the two outer ones, there's a little, shit, little plus and minus right there. Mm -hmm. So if we short that across, <laughs> it should bypass that switch there so again I don't recommend this guys but no especially if you have a warranty on it well yeah yeah we're something. just having fun because you know we ain't got no money in it and I heard that did you hear that mm -hmm. sure did that was the motor Click that time, didn't No. Mm -mm. So I'm probably going to put some energize this and see if the motor is any good or not. See, it, cl it clicked. Mm hmm. I heard that. It's shutting off. Of course, the batteries can be low too. But what I want to do is I want to 
hook this directly up to the batteries so what what I think I want to do is just, um, let's just clip that there I just want to make sure it's this motor is going to work. Back you out, you guys can't say shit. I get into it, you know. And... <laughs> now, we should be able to. We should jump him, but she's jumping back. I could just have that go and hit me in the face. Okay, now. What was that? I don't Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. The motor starts turning and it won't. Okay, so let's take this apart. Shall we? Hearing some kind of weird animal outside, ain't we? Mm-hmm, yeah. Don't know what it was. Different sound. Yep. There's the fowls. This. Uh. <clears throat> now, let's try this again. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It ain't staying running. Okay, so let's... Yeah, it's like to do. Yeah, and that's it. Nothing. Hmm. The motor. Let's go ahead and clip these off too. I'm not sure which one's plus and which one's negative. This one, this one, I think would be positive. Again, guys, don't do it. Well, fuck it, do it. <laughs> ah. Well, okay, then it's so, not it. That's not the motor. No. No, it's something in the board. So what that's telling me is I got a little pump for something. <laughs> that's all that's telling me. All right, guys? Hmm. Keep hitting the camera with the brim of my hat. Hmm? I keep hitting the camera with my hat. Oh. Shit. I thought these were magnetic screwdrivers. They are. There we go. <clears throat> I should have sent it to that guy and said, here, fix this. Huh? Huh? Yeah. I don't want it back. I just want to see you work on it. I just want to see what was wrong with it. Okay. Now, let's get... See, it's at an angle. So that way it kind of... Spins. <laughs> yes, it does. It spins. 
monkey or something else, you know that. I'm one of a kind. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's see if it pumps air out of that little hole. Dang. You got some power. Wow. Put these screws back in. So I got a cool little air pump or something. Hey, can you use that on the fountain? No, that needs a water pump. This is an air pump, honey. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> yeah, you did. Now, uh, Snickers water dish, we can use a pump out of it. <laughs> Your water fountain. Yeah. Yeah. What do we get for that? Eight bucks? Mm-hmm. And the pump for the fountain, 16? Yeah, but she likes the like water fountain. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just have to go get another one. We'll get another one. I'll take one of them apart and there you use go. the pump in your fountain. Okay, so now... <laughs> I want to... Let's see if this cuff will pump up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here. Put this on here. I think I can just hold one of these. <laughs> we're going to blow that cuff up. Uh-oh, something happened. Batteries probably. Okay. I was working a minute ago. Hmm. Doesn't like being hooked up. Should have had a spark there. No sparkage. I suppose these batteries went dead. That was kind of fast. I don't know how much you had in it. Hmm. Do we have a 9 volt? No, we don't do it. Mm -mm. No. Okay, let's get our multimeter out, honey. I want to see that pump up something. These are, what, 1.5 volts, right? Mm-hmm. You sure? She ain't sure. What's one point five? It's one and a half times. Let's get this. Whatever one. you say. Where go? There it is. Five point six nine. Okay, so one and a half times four would be four. Be six, right? There should be enough in there to do something, I mean, to make the motor run. So, might have been the motor all along. Maybe. Yeah, I feel it clicking. Works when it wants so, to. So, let's, um. Huh. Weird. Let's loosen these and see what happens. Had lots of power there. It was spinning. <laughs> Can I use that for my fountain? Hmm. Uh, uh, I have to. Alright. She's got a phone call, guys. So. Hello. Alright, what happened? Huh?
her daughter was at the emergency room. We're waiting to find out what happens. So. It could be a faulty motor. Because every so often I'll I'll feel it click. I mean, yeah, this batteries might not be the greatest, but I'm, I'm sure it's enough to run it. There, see, it's starting to, and then. So let's do this. Shut my multimeter off. Okay, uh, when I go to pull out on it, it's wanting to run. So it is a faulty motor. Yeah, see when I pull out on it? Yeah. Faulty motor. That sucks. I wanted to. Build something out of this. Well, let's put this on. Oh. There it goes. There's that. I keep hitting the camera. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, this is kind of hanging out together. Um, she don't have to work in the morning, so we're going to go set up. I set up a little bit today after the uh, after we went to the uh, chiropractor. And, uh... And uh, so, uh, I'd like to get that running. I'd like to make something out of that. Um, but, and she has a couple patients to do. So I went down, set up, made $2. Whoopee. And, um, yeah, see, this is 6 volt. Um, so you got four batteries at one and a half each, so you got you know four and then one and one is one. That's five, one and one, one, one and one, another one and one's six. So it is six full. Uh but anyway, I made two dollars. Um so tomorrow we're gonna go set up. She's got a patient to do tomorrow afternoon, but it's not till three o'clock, so we thought we'd just hang out this evening together and do something different and make you guys a couple videos just uh like i said they're not how to it's just kind of dicking around with things uh we did fix the light though that's good this thing like i said even if we did get it fixed we would never sell it and probably never use it because you don't want something like this faulty you know so let's hook this up See if we tap on it, if we can get anything out of it again. 
here, here. So, yeah, the motor is faulty. So that was probably the deal. <laughs> All right. So there's nothing we can do with that, but this this is pretty cool. You know, we got you know we got the hoses we can do something with later. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do with that, but I mean the switch, you know, maybe able to use a switch for something sometime. Uh, there's a little capacitor right there. We call them caps. Uh, maybe able to use that for something. Now these caps here, let me zoom in on that. And you can always tell when one of these is bad. If you look at the top part of this, and if it's like split, like someone cut it, or if it's hooved out, like rounded instead of flat, then it's bad. It's a blown cap, but that one's good. So, alright. Alright guys, well we couldn't fix that, so, but that's okay. Guys, uh, at least we, we got 50% done, or accomplished. Um, we did get the, uh, we did get the light fixed, that was in the last video. And, uh, this thing couldn't be fixed, but that's okay, we just kind of seen what we could use out of it anyway. Um. Still think it's it's cool. I wish I could get that working and build something out of it. A little pump of some kind. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Monkey's in on the phone with an important phone call. So I am going to say Monkey would say she's out. And I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, please hit the bell icon to get notified of more videos. Thanks again, guys. And uh, weekend's not far. You know, a couple more days will be the weekend. So y'all have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your week. And stay safe. Shea Bear, I'm gone. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Real quick, I had to show you this. I got it going. See it pumping up? Thanks guys.